this is a quick tutorial to show you how to install and use PDF 995 to convert a Word document into PDF. So let's get started. Um, we're just assuming that you have a document that, that you would like to convert to a PDF. So um, step one is just to have that document open, like you see here in Word. Um, and now we're going to go out and find um, PDF 995 and get that installed. So uh, first step there is to just go ahead and go down to um, a browser of your choice. We're going to use Internet Explorer we have down at the bottom there. Um, and then up in the address bar, we're just going to go to pdf995.com. Once you get to the site, um, you're just going to go to the download section. And then on that download page, this first area is what we're looking at. We need both of these downloads, um, both of these programs in order to convert to PDF. So we'll just click on the first one, get that started downloading, click save. And I'm actually just going to save it to the desktop. We'll click browse folders and find that. Go to the desktop and then click save. We'll let that go real fast. We can close that. Um, then we're going to download the second one. Just click on there. And the same thing, we're going to save it to the desktop so it's easy to find. Since we were there last, it's already come up, but you can double check and click on de desktop if you'd like to. And click save. close there as well. Um, then I'm going to minimize the Internet Explorer window so we can go see those files we've downloaded and minimize the document as well. Um, so you can see the two files that we've downloaded and all you got to do is just double click the first one to run it and click run. And we'll just wait for it to do its thing. And that's just asking you if you've downloaded the second file, and we have already, so you can just go ahead and click No. And then double click on the second file. And click Run. And then it'll show a little user agreement, and you can read through that. And once you're done with that, click Accept. And so now you should be good to go with PDF 995. Um, so we can go back to the document that we were wanting to convert to a PDF file. And from there, we're going to just act like we're printing the document. So you can either click print here or up here. And what we want to do here is just, instead of printing to whatever your default printer is, just click this little drop down and choose the PDF 995, just like it was a printer and then click OK. And you should see a little bar that says to save this document. We're going to put this on the, uh, the desktop as well. Just keep it for us. We're just going to keep it named document one and click save. And then that's the price of free things. You just watch the little advertisement and the progress bar will go through converting your file and there you go that is your PDF document it just o opens up automatically um, if you want to find out where it's located you can just close this file and look at it on the desktop or you can click this desktop button to see the desktop I'm just going to close close out of these and minimize that and there's my PDF document right there ready to go